Hello, everybody. This is Deb Coviello, and I'm just grateful you're joining me on another week of the Drop-In CEO Live Talk Media. And this week, I'm alone, but I'm here for you. There is so much that I want to share with you that's coming up. And so before we get to the topic today that I think is really, really going to help you, I just want to announce the 100th episode of the Drop-In CEO podcast is coming out on February 26th. So you don't want to miss that. The voices of some key people in my life, Peter Goral, David Hasse, Mario Pareca, are all going to be guests on the 100th episode of the Drop-In CEO podcast. So please, please, I'd be excited if you could join me on this journey and the celebration. And the other thing I'm sharing with everybody is that I have so much to share, so much I want to give back to you. My book, The CEO's Compass, Eight Points to Getting You Back on Track, will be coming out this year. So more to come, but follow the podcast because we're going to talk about the book each week on Fridays, starting in March. So you get a glimpse of what the CEO CEO's Compass, Eight Points to Getting You Track on Track is all about. So today, this is about getting you back on track. And what I'm going to be sharing with you are five steps to elevating your leading leadership and really, really helping you with active listening. Active listening is key to your leadership. And so many people simply want to speak to be heard versus listening to understand. So let me give you a couple stories here. So I recently had a client reach out to me and we started another project together and they asked me to help them with their quality consulting services and helping them through a certification. And in the same breath, they also said, we're starting a new company and I want to bring you in on the ground floor to talk to us about services that you can bring forward that'll provide you value. So I love working with this client and high five, (laughs) I may have some work with them. But here's the thing. If you listen deeply and look at their body language, they're not just saying I need help with quality and continuous improvement services. They're not just saying that they need help with some brainstorming and strategy for a new business entity. What they're actually saying is help me keep my business afloat while I try to find another avenue for us being sustainable because the COVID-19 caused tremendous economic downturn in my existing business. And so think about it. If I was just any old consultant and not the drop-in CEO, I would have gone in with my proposal on helping them maintain their quality certification and giving them my one sheet about my services versus thinking more holistically about how do I truly see and serve this client to help them through rapid change and a challenging time for his business. And that's what active listening does. But I'm just going to share with you one other story. Recently, I worked with a client and the challenge was, can you teach them lean methodology so we can realize operational improvements for our factory? I can do that. I can do that with my eyes shut. And so I could have served that client in only teaching their people the methodology and being able to complete projects to demonstrate they know how to do operational efficiencies. But if you truly listen to what the client is saying, even if I can't see him on a Zoom call, but just active listening, and we'll come to the five steps, what they were really looking to was This business has been operating one way for some time and may or may not have been successful. I need to change the culture. And we're going to do it through the lens of lean methodology, looking for operational efficiencies, getting people to think, be creative, work together, talk together, and maybe we'll be able to evolve a culture from simply being reactionary to being proactive and seeing opportunities for improvement. And that is the beauty of active listening. So let's just talk a little bit about the five steps. You may want to take a note here because I think it's so important. And again, if there is a strong uh, response to this after, and hopefully you'll direct message me if you want to do some one-on-one to learn a little bit more about this methodology. But my offer is that if there's a large ask for this, I will do a webinar to help you develop your listening skills because it is instrumental in elevating your leadership. Okay, so we're going to go over the five steps right now. Listen, listen, don't talk. 
you should be listening 70% of the time and talking maybe 30. And when you talk, ask a lot of questions. So what you need to start doing is be quiet, listen. When you speak, ask well thought out words or questions to get deeper understanding of what they want, what they're actually saying. Now, technology has done a beautiful thing. They've also, we've also have Zoom calls. It enables you to be able to look at the body language, but I'll give you a little bit uh, a more insight on step two of looking at the body language. Yes, you look at the words that are being said, you hear the intonation of how they're saying it. But what you also want to do is not just look at them and what they're saying, look at their body language, look at their demeanor, look to see if there's any stress, look at the surrounding environment that they have there, see if it's in disarray, see if it looks comfortable, look for signals, look for signs for all the things that are not directly in front of you, but in the environment around you. It might give you some clues onto what your client or the leader that you're working with is actually experiencing. Point number three, while you're listening and you're looking, start writing down words, any words, whether they make sense or not, write them down, write them down all over on a piece of paper. They may not say something to you right now, but I can assure you after listening and you looked out at the pictures or, and, or even the notes that you have, the words are going to speak to you. So the next thing, point number four, start connecting the dots. Look at the words, look for a theme, start circling them, start connecting them and see if you can see something that is really being said, but maybe not, not necessarily in what they're saying directly to you. It's a really critical skill to start capturing words and themes, whether they say it or you see it. And that's key. We have to tie the senses together, what we hear and what we say, not by speaking. Okay. And so, so far you haven't really spoken that much. This is your time, point number five, to speak. What you then do is you talk about the keywords that you heard and you say something like, well, what I think I heard you say is that you're actually looking for a sustainable solution to help you get through this short-term crisis of having a downturn in the economics and start building up a strategy for a new business. So does this weathers the storm, we're already building up a second line of revenue. Does that make sense? And you ask for validation. And I'll tell you, look for a beautiful moment when the person's body language actually relaxes and they also start leaning in and say, yes, you've heard me. You've heard me is the key to this superpower about active listening, truly seeing the person in front of you and knowing exactly how to solve the issue in front of you. So this is a beautiful tool, whether you're just working with a colleague, working with a team, or you're an, even an entrepreneur meeting with a client. Don't come in with any baggage. Don't come in it with any preconceived notions, except your active listening to truly not only hear what your client or the person in front of you is saying, but also be able to really truly see them at a deeper level, form connection, form relationships, and I can assure you, you're going to come out with a better outcome. I do this with my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do this when I'm invited to speak to clients. As soon as we establish that rapport and I deeply listen, we're able to determine what is the solution to the problem that they're going to need. So with that, I'll leave you with one last thought. Remember, listen, 70% of the time, speak only 30 and 30% is really only for clarification or reframing what you heard. So if this was helpful to you, and I sincerely know it is because I have had a number of coaching clients, mentees come to me and say it's absolutely changed the playing field because they instantaneously are elevated as a leader. And so if this is interesting to you, I offer to you to direct message me Let's jump on a call. Let's talk for 15 minutes to understand what your challenge is, and then maybe set up some time to help you develop this powerful, powerful skill of active listening. So I simply want to thank you for your time. And just a quick reminder, 
The 100th episode of the Drop-In CEO podcast is coming. I'm so excited. Join me on February 26th to join the celebration. And finally, if you want to hear more about the book coming through, The CEO's Compass, Eight Points to Getting You Back on Track, um, please stay tuned and listen more. And shout out to uh, Bruce Trukel, who only told me to extend two offers, but I'm so excited about these things coming up that I wanted to share them with you. But if you want to learn more and work with the Drop-In CEO, direct message me, let's book a call, and let's create some beautiful magic with you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, thank you. And we'll be back next week with another episode of the Drop-In CEO Live Talk Media with either myself or a fantastic guest. Be well.